Hello, my dear Scorpios. It's Caroline with Empire 333 here. I hope you're all doing well and safe. This is going to be your um, love reading, okay? If anything else comes up, I'll make sure to let you know. I'll be channeling your energies and whoever's on your mind, what, uh, what energies they're in, okay? So let's get into it. Uh, Scorpio, you are in a new version of yourself right now. And if you feel like you're not, you are. Um, there's something about your emotions that are being kind of transformed, okay? And that could be um, how you viewed something. What I'm getting here is that, let me just make sure the volume's up. Okay, great. Um you hoped for something, okay? You wanted something really badly. It could be a person, right? It could be something. And you lost hope in regards to it is what I'm hearing. But what I'm getting is that you're going to get what you want, Scorpio, okay? But you... I know this is going to sound cliche and I, there's, I don't know, other words to use for it, but you have to be in the right energies to receive it, okay? And there's things that you didn't see, but this has a lot to do with your emotional space. So some of you, okay, Scorpio, before I get into the reading, uh, Spirit wants to say, some of you have had um, like physical pain, okay? Maybe you had an injury. Maybe it's because of an injury, right? But you've had physical pain. And look at where that physical pain is and see what the, what the spiritual significance of that is, okay? Because it could be that you're holding, like the pain is stuck energy is what spirit is showing it to me as, okay? So it's stuck energy. Look at the spiritual meaning of that and fix that heal that. Okay, Scorpio, that's going to really make you feel better. I'm not a licensed doctor. Okay. That is down below. Um, just, to, just to, that disclaimer is down below, but, um, this is about an emotional response that turns into pain. Okay. There's stuck energy of emotions, not being processed, not being recognized, not being, um, worked on. Okay. So, all right, I'll shut up now <laughs> about that. <laughs> Scorpio is like, get to the reading, girl. Get to the reading. All right, spirit, what energies further is my Scorpio in before we get into their person's energies? Love. Scorpio, be brave. Marriage, ooh. Okay, sleep. Animals. They want me to pick up one more. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. We, and the bottom, we have retreat. So, Scorpio, you pulled back your energy from someone, okay? What I see here that happened is that somebody here, they could have been acting shady or they could have they turned cold on you, Scorpio, okay? And you got that message is like, something is not right. I'm going to pull back my energy okay so what's happening here is that a situation this is in regards to commitment so this is definitely okay marriage any type of commitment whatever you think commitment is to you okay because everybody has their own definition of what a union should be like so this is about commitment and spirit is saying here yeah you know uh, spirit did sleep on this. If you haven't watched the last Scorpio video, what says spirit pulled the lights on this. Yes, yeah, spirit did pull the lights on this situation. Okay. But let's see. Okay. We'll see with this cards, if it's the same person, if it's someone else, Scorpio, but spirit is you, like you have been really brave. You pulled back your energy and it has to do with you feeling attached to like thinking like, wait a minute. I thought this was real love. 
this was real love. What happened? Like, what the heck happened? You know? And what this I'm getting is like, you even, when you pulled back your energy, you're like, wait a minute, am I not psychic anymore? Um, can I not like read spiritual guidance? I thought this person was my end all, my be all. This was my person. This was my divine counterpart. Okay, Scorpio. By the way, I feel high, you guys. I'm not high, but I'm sober. But I feel like this high when I'm doing your reading. And I don't know if that's how you feel when you uh, were with somebody. Like there's like this high. But spirit is telling you here, don't compromise what you want. Okay. If you want the real deal, with this person, marriage, commitment, domestication, you want to live with them, you want to share a home, whatever it is, you want to share animals together, you know, so cute, um, then don't be brave, be your authentic self, okay, I don't know why they're saying this, but I feel that what happened here is that this person took a long time, like they've been taking a long time, Okay, so maybe somebody ghosted you, they pulled back your energy, you're like, F this, I'm pulling back my energy, I'm not going to be a part of this anymore, because like I said, you are in a new version of yourself, okay? So let's see what is going on with this person, Emperor wanted to come out, Emperor energy. This person is powerful. Whoever this is. Okay. Let's see. I'm hearing Boulder. So I don't know if somebody in Boulder, Colorado is watching. Or somebody's in Boulder, Colorado. Is that in Colorado, right? Is that? Yes, Spirit? No. All right. So let's see. Spirit, tell me about the energies of this person. King of Wands. I told you this person's powerful. Very fiery energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, guys. Ooh, and a King of Coins. Okay. Gender doesn't matter, guys. Okay. So you could be you could be waiting for a woman on this side. You know, it doesn't matter. Okay. But this is like boss energy is what I'm getting. This person is really busy. Um, they have a busy uh, work lifestyle, okay? They could travel for work. Look, when I said busy, they're like, yeah, oh, I can't show that. Oh, Lord. It's like just a butt, you know? Like, who cares? But, oh, this, oh, man. This person, Scorpio, this is crazy. You know what? This person has wanted to move towards you passionately. They've wanted to create something with you. But I feel like their work is holding them back, okay? And it's like every time they want to rush in, with this Knight of Wands energy, they might travel a lot for work, this person. I see them, like, going to a lot of places, okay? Um, some of you, they have, like, this route that they go on, okay? Um, I just heard driver for some of you, okay? Um, or maybe they drive to where they're supposed to go. Whatever it is, Scorpio, this person here has wanted to come in sooner, okay? Um, but for some reason, they're holding back their energy. And this has a lot to do with them not being able to spend time with you, okay? For whatever reason, it could be like their job. Their work takes a lot of their time. This person could also be a workaholic. They are focusing on their career, on their money, on their coins. But this person, what I feel is that there's so many parts of this person, Scorpio, 
they are very driven they're ambitious okay this person could be a business owner they could be a ceo or whatever they could be a manager you know um spirit just said they're up there in the ranks okay i'm seeing the letter m um this person here i just heard the name henry okay this person here they have two parts of them it's kind of like they're having issues with such situating their lifestyle in order to uh make space for you okay that's what i'm getting let's see how they feel about you scorpio yeah this you know what i feel like this is what happened with this this person did go cold on you scorpio let me know in the comments it's like they went cold on you. They came in really hot, heavy, passionate, um, inspired. Like they were really inspired by you. And I feel like you were inspired by them. There is a lot of passion here. This is a passionate person. This person is intense like how we like it, Scorpio. Yep. Look. So yeah. This person did sneak out of your life, okay? We got the devil energy here and the seven of swords. They did sneak out of your life, okay? Um, a few readings back, I did pick up on somebody um, keeping something from you. But this person is attached to a situation, okay? Now, this is what I want to say to you all. I do not get that they are attached to another romantic situation. Um, what I'm getting here is that they fled because they were scared to confront what they wanted with you and what you wanted from them, okay? They, they disappeared, okay, Scorpio? That's how you'll know this is your reading. Yeah, this person took off, okay? This person took off and they regret they took off cancer energy. So I see this person in regret that they took off. Let's see um, how else they feel about you. About the situation, about you. How do they feel spirit? You might be seeing 444. See, they think you're valuable, Scorpio. They think you're, you would be an asset in their life, Okay. Um, they see you as someone who could be both like, how should I say it? You could be like, you're, you're overall very well put together, you know? And I, what I'm hearing is like, they admire you and your energy to them is very healing is what I'm hearing. Okay. So Yeah. Oh my God, this person has so much passion for you. Uh, look, this person wants to rush in, Scorpio, okay? This person has wanted to rush in, but I feel like things have not been working out on their side. And I want you to remember this. When you met this person, um, this is not a long-term connection. So... Whenever you both got romantically involved, this is someone who is not like, okay, so if you're watching, I'm sorry, this is not your reading if, I'll say a few things. If you've been with this person like for five years or you, you know, you're seeing them for dating them on and off, this is not your reading. This is newer energy. Okay, tops, I'm seeing like two years. No more. Yeah, two years. Four, four tops for some of you, and that's like a very small amount of you. This is not someone you know for a long time. This is not the toxic relationship you were in that someone betrayed you like really nasty. This is not your reading, okay? I don't see this person as toxic. Yeah, they do have dark energy. Everybody does. I got dark energy too, but this is not that person. This person has wanted to rush in. Okay, they still have passion for you, Scorpio. I know that you feel cold. You feel coldness from them because of the way they left. But it's not It's not that they're cold. It's just that they got to balance out their life before they come in. 
and that's probably you know the the last reading we got i think that was um what is it called this is a temperance card here by the way sagittarius energy i just heard somebody be like hell no not the sagittarius um yeah yeah see so scorpio this person is going to come in all in when they do okay this person is really nervous they're really nervous to come in okay i just want to let you know this person is really scared and nervous and they are not a scared person like this person whoever they are they're brave they have been through so much crap in their life and they came up above high water okay but this person whoever they are yeah, this person had many trials and tribulations just as you did, Scorpio. Okay, not exactly the same. I would actually say this person went through... Um, um, I'm hearing poverty, okay? So a lot of money struggles growing up. They had a really difficult childhood. Um, they've been betrayed by people. They've been... I just heard sold out, okay? So like a lot of nasty stuff. But this person here. They're gathering up the courage to come to you, okay? This is the Wheel of Fortune here with this offer, okay? Um, it won't start out with the offer, Scorpio. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going to start out with an offer. It's going to be more like, hey, how you doing? Okay. I know that this might piss some of you off, but this person has been delayed in coming towards you. It has to do with spirit turning the light off. This is the same person that I picked up on the other reading. Spirit pulling a plug on this and also because this person was not ready for you. They had to get their life situated and they took longer than they wanted. This person um, might have a really nice body is what I'm getting, whether they're female or male, they take really good care of themselves, okay? Um, I heard that beep. <laughs> yeah, somebody very attractive, okay? Whoever this is, right? You both match really well with your attraction. Okay. Yeah. This person really has deep feelings for you. And so some of you, yeah, look at this. Five of Pentacles. So this person is really regretting now that they had to, like, they had to let go of you. They really regret it. And they're really hurt about it. And it's kind of like, hey, I stabbed myself. I, you know, I know that sounds really, <laughs> all right, but I'm doing Scorpio. Scorpio can take it. This person feels like they deceived themselves. They betrayed themselves when they had to let you go. Okay. This person has very deep feelings for you, um, Scorpio, and it's something that they can't get over. So what else spirit was this person's next actions? Wow. They feel like they lost you and things have been delayed between you and them. But like I'm telling you, um, Scorpio, this is because this is all a part of the soul contract you have with this person. Okay. Your souls are together. There's no question about it. This is like divine counterpart energy. Your souls are delayed this oh my god spirit like yeah totally this person is gonna make okay this is a bold move because scorpio i'm sure you let this person know that either we do this right or we don't do it okay you let them know how everything works right this person feels so close to you, okay, that 
you might feel cold towards them now. I don't know if you do, Scorpio. Let me know in the comments because you haven't seen them for a while or you haven't spoken to them for a while. But this person, they still feel so close to you, Scorpio. Like, they feel like you're there even when you're not there. So energetic attachment is very, like, crazy. You might be seeing their name. Um... You might be, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, this is out of this world, Scorpio, look at this, the two of cups with the three of cups and the six of wands, this person Scorpio, this person wants to see you so badly. They can't wait to see you. Okay? Um, I don't know. Oh my God, magician. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So this person is just like, they're really, like I said, they're really scared to approach you, Scorpio. But at the same time, um, they're thinking like, okay, if I approach Scorpio, if I reach out to them and Scorpio rejects me, um, I, I just need to try to see Scorpio somehow, some way. And I know that once I see Scorpio, it's going to be magical all over again. Because when you see this person, uh, Scorpio, when this person sees you and you see like, it's, a, it's, um, electrifying. Okay. It's magical. It's electrifying. So this person knows that. And I'm sure you know that Scorpio, um, some of you feel like you've never felt like this before. Okay. And, uh, there's a letter T somebody's name might be, um, with the letter T. Josh. Tina. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to grow with you. Okay, Scorpio, they see you as the end all be all. Okay. But this person is thinking to themselves, like I said, like, okay, if I come towards Scorpio and Scorpio rejects me through communication, if they're like, hey, go away. <laughs> like this person's ready for everything, right? They're like, Scorpio is not going to I don't know. They're going to do everything to see you, Scorpio, okay? Because they know even if you reject them over the phone, if you see them, it's going to be a whole different ball game. They know that, and they want to prove it to you in person. I feel like this person is not a great communicator, okay? Um, and... Yeah, I think this person is made up their mind. Don't get me wrong. This person is going to be sweet to you. This is the Six of Cups. Yeah. This person has learned a lot. Let me just tell you. Well, since they've been gone, they've learned a lot. And they're coming back with a different approach. But, Scorpio, to you, it's like... You're expecting Scorpio, they call you and then they solve everything over a phone call or a text. And it's not going to happen that way, honey. I'm letting you know now, get prepared. This some of somebody who like you are so energetically connected to, this is divine counterpart energy. This person has been, uh, you know, wanting to manifest you for a while and they want to see you. They want to come home to you. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. They want to come home to you. Shut up, spirit. I can't make this up. Ten of cups. They want to come home to you. They feel at home with you, Scorpio. I know that might sound cheesy for some of you, but that's what I'm hearing, okay, from spirit. Like, yeah, they want to invest in this. They know they were, they were, they took long, Scorpio. They know they were delayed. They're not happy about that either. 
okay? I'm hearing H's, H's, okay? I don't know if that means somebody with the letter H. Oh, okay, wow, this is very intense. This person is very intense. You love the intensity of this person, passionate, intense. And that's why it's like, you're so disappointed, Scorpio. So Spirit is saying, be brave when this person comes in. This has to do with the first part of the reading. Don't compromise, okay? Um, whatever you want, whatever home lifestyle you want, there's a lot about home, okay? Whatever commitment style you want, you need to be very direct and firm with that, okay? Look at how it turned off. Do you all see how the light turned off again? It's fully charged, guys. So this is like a make it or break it situation. Scorpio, if you're not honest with them, honest with yourself, the way you want this commitment to be, then you're going to repeat the same lesson you did in the last relationship you are. Okay? So it's your choice. I know this is a tough love message. I'm just letting you know what Spirit is saying, Scorpio. Do not compromise the type of relationship, connection, commitment, marriage, whatever. Whatever you want with a home lifestyle, okay? Whatever that setup is for you, do not compromise it. For this person or whoever, it doesn't matter if they're soulmate, you're, they're your twin flame, they're your divine counterpart, they're your ride or die, okay? This person, I feel, could be your ride or die, seriously. But it all has to do with you being brave and speaking up for yourself, okay? So this is about the chance that you have with this person that's coming in, Scorpio. Make the best of it because this person could have a different idea of what it is, but this is about you. I'm speaking with you, Scorpio. Spirit is speaking with you. You can have what you want. On depending on how you arrange it, okay, and spirit is supporting you. So think about negotiations, you know, all that doesn't have to be what the first text spirit is saying, but <coughs> if that's something you want with this person, then if they invite you out, be out, okay, Scorpio, go with it. Do not um, push this person away if you want them. I know some of you might be mad at them. So meanwhile, what before they come in, uh, re release any type of resentment you have towards them, okay? Keep yourself in check. And um, yeah, nobody's going to want to talk to anybody who's angry at them. I'm just letting you know. That's just like, you know, facts right there. Okay, Scorpio? Um, I hope that this has helped you. Let me know how it did in the comments and like this video. If you got value from it, and peace out, Scorpio. Love you.